Okay, so here's the second part. This is gonna be Andy Warhol style. You're gonna need your rulers for this, and you're gonna understand. You're gonna need to understand how to separate each box. I'm only gonna make you guys do four boxes. Okay, so what you want to do is divide this in com in half. So you have to make sure your ruler is from end to end. Very important. So the size of this paper is a 17 inch by 14 inch. So 17 divided by two is eight and a half inches. So what you have to do is you come, make a mark at your eight and a half. Do it up here. Make sure you're going from end to end. Make a mark, bring it down here. Make a mark. Then, with your ruler, <clears throat> you have to make sure every point that you created touches your ruler. If they don't, then you need to just adjust it a little bit. And then once they're all touching, then you make that line. Remember, it's not a hard line. It is a soft line. This is just a sketch for right now. So now you have this straight, even line. Next step is turning your paper over. And now you have to get the other way. So 14 divided by two, seven. So now you have to make a mark at every, make sure again, your rulers from end, from the start of the zero is at the very edge. So make a mark at every seven inch. You wanna come in down all the way. You wanna make sure it's at least, I'll move my pencils. It's at least to the very end of your paper. Make sure again that it matches up. Now turn it around. Line up your ruler from every point. Make sure every point is touching. And then create that line. All right, put the ruler away. Now, you have your start of the Andy Warhol. So now this is where the same rule is going to apply. You're going to have to decide how do you want your paper to be in every box. You're going to have to cut your paper to that. So say if I just want to emphasize on my dog right here, right? So from there, I want to do corner to corner. I'm gonna line up that bottom line. I would recommend to cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it right now because I just wanna show you. But the whole point is just to make sure that it is lined up where you want it to be lined up. And then put that tape. And then the same thing. I'm using graphite paper, but if you are not, obviously, if you don't have it, then you're, you should have had already colored in the back of your paper with a graphite pencil. Make sure you're using a color pencil <clears throat> that you can see. So when you are tracing your image into the area, you can see the image. So when you're done, you, if you think you're done, you can come back and be like, oh, I missed all that. Let me go back. That's why we tape it down very important to tape it down. It's very important to go over all the lines, but we are contouring our facial features. We are not going to every detail. I'm just going over the main areas of my image. The main areas <clears throat> are very important. Because if you just trace in your image and you don't have anything there, but just the outline, the silhouette, then it's not gonna look right. So this is the beginning of your Andy Warhol inspired piece. 
remember you're gonna have to print out your piece now if you said you were doing your own and I said okay then you should be okay if you don't have if you don't if you have something in your picture you don't want to draw that's okay just draw around it I don't want to draw this leash on him I don't want to focus on that I want to focus on this cute little doggy his name is Hulk it's my dog he's an American bully he's so cute he's a year and a half now and such a playful little boy so if I think I'm done let me turn it oh look I missed half of the nose oh of course I did so let me go back you only take off this tape when you have completed everything that you should have completed so I think I'm done let me check again um I think I'm done maybe I want to go back over this okay I'm gonna separate his white little paws you're gonna do this in every single box so the goal is to have this same image in every single box and then we'll go over how you're gonna color it in okay have a good day